before we get to our last chef, if I'm not mistaken, um, we have another guest diner who really doesn't need too much of an introduction. Um, I'd like to introduce our last guest diner tonight, Pittsburgh Stiller Cam Hayward. How are you doing today, sir? I'm great. How are you? Oh, you know, I'm. Uh, you made my week start off good. So anytime a Stiller victory, <laughs> um, you know, happens, I'm always in a good mood. So yeah, uh, I'm in a good mood after we win. So I'm yeah, glad uh, we yeah. won. We can have a great dinner meal. You know, yep. I'm excited. It's 500 families that are involved, right? Yep, 500 mils. Wow, this is awesome. You know, I, I can't believe we were able to put this on. First of all, I want to say it's so good to be with all of these, all the dinner uh, families that are involved. Um, you know, I'm excited to be a part of this. Uh, I want to give a special thank you to Eaton Park, City Parks, uh, the City of Pittsburgh, Allegheny County, um, United Way. So many people are involved in this. Uh, and then you look at the chefs and what they've done um, whether it's making the bread or the meatballs. Um, and then we have these special sweet potato pies I'm really excited to have from Aunt Cheryl's Cafe. Um, this is going to be fun. You know, I'm excited to get a chance to hang out, enjoy some food, and uh, just enjoy the, the great ambiance. Definitely, definitely. And I want to thank you as well, too, with, from City Parks. I know you've, you know, attended, you know, several of our City Parks summer food kickoffs. So, you're definitely much appreciated in our realm as well, so thank, thank you. you. You know I'm a hungry guy, so I, I got to do what I can. <laughs> All right, so before, um, you know, I want to get into a little stiller talk first of all. So, um, you know, I want to get into week one. Um, right. I just want to ask you how it felt to record your first interception. It was, that was pretty cool to see. You got off the ground a little bit on that one too, so. How yeah, did yeah. I'm just glad I interception? caught it. You know, it could have <laughs> been a lot worse, um, and I know, Pittsburgh wouldn't have been kind of me if I didn't catch that. You know, I was glad I was <laughs> in the right place, uh, the right place at the right time. You know, Bud Dupree had a great pressure, uh, forced the quarterback to throw it up, and uh, I was just in the right spot at the right time. Good. Yeah, I'm happy you caught it, too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm going to, um, you know, pivot a little bit to, you know, more pandemic talk, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, you know, this past Sunday especially was, you know, the first home game with no fans in the stadium, yeah. um, which was definitely, you know, really different to, you know, view as a fan, especially. Um, right. So this is a little bit of a, a little bit of a two-part question. Um, I just really want to ask how you've been able to transition um, and adjust, you know, in the professional aspect, um, you know, with everything going on. And in that same sense, in your personal life, you know, making sure your family's safe and things of that nature. Yeah, you know, I think with, you know, everybody's trying to go back to work and, you know, try to live as as normal as possible. But, um, you know, I want to do something I love, uh, but I'm going to have to take every precaution, whether it's wearing my mask, uh, social distancing, um, testing, you know, all these things play a, a, a pivotal part in me being able to play football. Um, and I'm, I'm just thankful that uh, everybody who's cooperating with us is, given us the opportunity to do that. You know, there's a lot of moving parts in that, um, whether it's the coaching staff to the trainers, um, to the front office people, to uh, the police that helps provide uh, protection where we go to different hotels so we're, we're blocked off. All that goes involved and uh, I'm just thankful for that. Um, and then approaching, uh, you know, privately, you know, my family's had to adjust me and my wife haven't been to a restaurant uh, yet, so having these me this meal right now is going to be off awesome tonight. <laughs> it's going to be our little date night once the kids go to bed. <laughs> but uh, you know, um, you know, my kids have had to adjust. We can't they can't really play with their friends most of the time just because um, it's it's a different world we live in. Um, but uh, you know, hopefully when you know this p pandemic's over, uh, we can uh, have a day where we all get to celebrate together and. Everybody's able to go to games, and we could all tailgate to a Pens game or a Pirates game. Most definitely. Um, you know, and lastly, you know, I just wanted to ask you if you can really just speak on um, the Hayward House and also how, you know, us as the audience, you know, will be able to donate or contribute in any manner and just things like that. Yes, the Hayward House. Um, we started about five years ago. Um, I got to see a lot of different people um, do a lot of great things in our community, whether it was Brett Kiesel or Troy Palomalo. Um, and, you know, I wanted to do my part as well. So um, working with my mom and my wife, uh, we were able to start the Hayward House. 
um, and just benefit, you know, um, underprivileged children um, in our communities. Um, you know, whether it's working with Boys and Girls Club, uh, providing um, after school programs or um, making hygiene buckets for them for after uh, they leave during a pandemic. You know, that was a big thing. Um, how are these kids going to be able to, you know, stay in tip top shape during a pandemic? Um, right now, we've been um, really uh, focusing on, in on um, our uh, uh, literacy program and we came up with a, a project near and dear to my heart um, that's uh, named after my grandparents, uh, Rufus and Judy Jordan. Um, and we came up with uh, little libraries. And I know it's, it's, it's very trendy right now, but it's a great idea. Um, we're able to help um, young kids, but we're also able to help adults too, um, providing books such as you know financial literacy and um, giving great opportunities for people um, during these times that you know you can't go into a library, um, you don't always have internet, um, but you know there's a book uh, you can you can if you can find a little library you can take advantage of this. Nice. All right, Kim. You know I want to definitely thank you. Um, you know for your actions on and off the field especially, you know, that coming to down with us this evening, you know, and having all of our audience be able to, you know, view you. So thank you for joining us again. And, you know, congrats on the two and those stars. Keep it up. Thank you. And I want to say a special thank you to Steeler Nation. Um, we're off to a good start going 2-0. Uh, best thing about going 2-0 is you got a chance at 3-0. So uh, we got to get to work. We got a great opponent coming in this week. But uh, stay tuned. Nice. Thanks again, sir. Thank you. All right, so now um, 